The other day I was walking down the hallway at Lakeview Elementary School to give a teacher a retiring gift. I looked up onto the wall and saw a BLM poster and an Amanda Gorman poster. In case you don't know who that chick is, she's some girl who did a poem at Biden's so-called inauguration. I was so mad. I was told two weeks ago at this very meeting spot, no politics in school. I believed what you said at this meeting. So at lunch, I went up to my principal to tell him about the BLM poster and that I wanted it down. He said it's not coming down. I was like, yeah, it is, because the school board said on May 25th, no BLM or politics in school. He said, that's weird. They were the, one who, they were the ones who made them. I was stunned. When I was here two weeks ago, you told us to report any BLM in our schools. Apparently, you know they're in our schools because you made the signs. I said there should be no BLM in schools, period. It does not matter the color you make the posters and the font you use. We all understand the meaning. It is a political message about getting rid of police officers, rioting, burning buildings down while King Governor Welch just sits on his throne and watches. We all know. Changing the font or the color of posters does not change the meaning. I am nine years old and I know that. You expect me to believe that you did not know what you were doing by making these posters? Come on, people. I do not judge people by the color of their skin. I, I don't really care what color their hair, skin, or eyes is. I judge by the content or the way they treat me. MLK said, I have a dream that one day my four little children will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. That dream has come true. I do not care or look at the color of skin, but you make me think of it. I have Asian, Mexican, white, Chinese, black friends, and I don't care. I like them because some of them make me laugh, some are sweet and kind, sporty, or share the love of God. They are just my friends. You have lied to me, and I am very disappointed in all of you. You cannot even follow your own rules. If you're going to do that, why do we follow any rules we deemed unfit or ridiculous? I'm not following your mask rule anymore then. Get the posters out of our schools. Courage is contagious, so be courageous.